Apple released the release candidate version of iOS 14.2 last week, and the final version is now available to all iPhone users. This update includes new features and bug fixes, including new emojis and wallpapers. Before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So starting off, I would say that one of the biggest features of iOS 14.2 is that it now has eight new wallpapers. So if you access the settings and press on wallpaper and choose the new wallpaper and choose the option for stills, you will be able to see eight new wallpapers and all of them are available in light and dark mode. So as you can see, there are four new images. And as I said, they're all available in dark mode and light mode. So if I switch my iPhone to dark mode, you'll be able to see that the image, images changes, they change. You can see all the stars in the sky and you have four options for this style. And then you have four wallpapers that are kind of like graphics. So as you can see here, they're all on dark mode. I have to say that I don't love them on dark mode. I prefer them on light mode. So let's switch. There are, there are, they are more colorful in this option. So I would use it this way, but my favorite one is this one. I already chose, chose this one as my wallpaper. Then there are also over 100 new emojis. It includes animals, faces, food, um, household objects, music, instruments, gender inclusive emojis, and a lot more. So these are a few of the new emojis. Um, as you can see, there's um, the new gesture, the hug, this smiley face with a tear, um, this one is a funny one. There's also the heart emoji, the lungs, the, the new ninja, um, feather, bubble tea, the matryoshka, which is the Russian doll, uh, the piñata, olive, and the magic wand. As I said, there are over 100 new emojis, so there's a lot to look for here in this update. Also, if you have the iPhone 12 or the iPad Pro with the LiDAR sensor, you will have the option to use the magnifier app, the measure app, to detect people nearby. And you will also be reported, uh, reported of their distance. So you'll be able to see how far they are from you. Also, another new feature that will make your life easier if you are the type of user that uses a lot of Shazam, you will now have the option to use Shazam right on your control center. So beforehand, you were able to use it through the Shortcuts app, but now you have the option to add the Shazam button to your control center. As you can see, I already have it here, but if you don't see the Shazam um, button here, you can simply go to settings, press on control center, and then once you find the music recognition, you press on the green icon, the plus sign. As I already have it, is it, it's already showing up here at the top of the display. But if you don't have it there, it's going to be showing in this section right here. And then once you listen to music and you want to see which song is playing, you simply press this button and it will tell you. So right now I'm going to hit play in one song and then you'll see it in action. So as you can see, it already told me that it's playing Lemonade. I can press to listen on Apple Music. So it's really, really easy to use. Now, a new feature that is related to audio is that you now have headphone audio level notifications to alert you when audio levels could impact your hearing. So if you go to settings, and press on sounds and haptics, you can press on headphone safety. 
Here you will have two different options, the headphone notifications to protect your hearing, your iPhone will measure headphone audio levels. If you exceed the recommended seven day limit, a notification is sent and the volume is turned down. So I enabled this option right here. And the second one is for um, your iPhone can analyze headphone audios and reduce any sound that is over a set decibel level. So here you can choose your um, maximum decibels, for example. So here, 75 decibels is as loud as a vacuum cleaner, 80 decibels is as loud as a noisy restaurant, 85 as loud as ha uh, heavy city traffic, 90 as loud as a motorcycle, as loud as a car horn, and as loud as an ambulance. I will leave this at 80 decibels, but maybe 75 would even be better. So I would leave it at 75. And a new feature related to AirPods is that you now have the option to turn on optimized battery charging for the AirPods. So if you connect your AirPods to your iPhone, I will close this settings just so we can um, do all the steps together. Make sure you go to settings, press on Bluetooth and press on the eye icon. Here you will see that you have more options beforehand. You only have a few options. You only had a few options here. So now instead of just having noise cancellation and transparency mode, you can go down and there's the option to enable or disable optimized battery charging. So this will work similarly to the way that optimized battery charging works on your iPhone. And it says here to reduce battery aging, iPhone and AirPods learn from your daily charging routine. So AirPods can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use them. So you now have the option to enable optimized battery charging on the AirPods. There are also a few updates to the music app, especially if you access it through the control center. So for example, if you press and hold, you'll be able to see what's playing. And if you check this icon right here for the volume, you will see that this little circle is a little bit bigger than it was before. I currently don't have Apple Music. This is an album that I bought previously. I don't pay for the Apple Music subscription, so I cannot check all the new features. But um, from what I saw, there are also suggestions and a few um, small tweaks. There are also new AirPlay controls for you to stream um, entertainment through your home. Um, intercom support with HomePod and HomePod Mini. Um, you can use this new feature with the iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, AirPods, and CarPlay. I don't currently own a HomePod, so I will be testing this feature in the future, whenever my HomePod mini arrives. And um, there are also an, a few other features like support for the iPhone 12 leather sleeve with MagSafe and iOS 14.2 also fixes a few bugs and performance issues like fixes for the camera application, voice memos, Apple cache, um, the keyboard on the lock screen that could miss touches when trying to en the, enter the passcode and a few minor bug fixes. And these are the new iOS 14.2 features. Please let me know down below if you liked it or not and what was your favorite feature. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.